Welcome back to Metroid Prime! You're here stuck in the Phazon mines and, uh, I think we gotta get out of here. I can't get out. Can't get out. Stuck too far down. Got the power bomb. The way to level three is beyond that door there. And, uh, we gotta find a way out of here. Hmm. We could go out the way we came, but I got a better idea. Is it easier said than done? D uh, d a little bit. It's, you know, we could backtrack, we could do that, but... But, but, hear but, me out, but, there is another way out. Oh. And I intend to go that way. Do we make our own way out because of our awesome new explodey toy? Well, that's one way of yeah, seeing it, you know. I mean, we're making, like, level 7 clearance with the power bombs. You know, I could just get through anywhere. We're making our own clearance, essentially. Yeah. Well, speaking of power bombs, wow, they really are generous with them. They're more generous than you may think. You don't get a whole lot of power-ups because there's only uh, four power bomb ex expansions. Oh, okay. So you don't have a whole lot. I think it's only like what eight, perhaps. Ooh, what? I have an interesting question eight for total? you. Total. Yeah. So power uh, power bomb expansions. Can you sequence break and get them early, or does the game prevent you from getting them? Because Dread did that. You see, I haven't. I don't sequence break. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm a good child who crosses my my eyes and dots my P's. And minds my T's and Q's. Seems legit. Yeah. So I don't sequence break a whole lot. I was just curious. Especially not enough to get the power bomb or any of its many expansions early. God, just imagine how- oh, oh, boy. Oh, no. Well, another elite pirate has uh, stormed his way through and- He has uh, level 7 clearance, <laughs> if I've ever seen it. Well, he has inadvertently opened up the new way for us. Oh, actually perfect. Nice job, idiot. Should let me through. Or did, or did he? The, oh, well. I mean, it's a new way to go through. So at least there's that. No, he has not yet. Well, never mind that, I guess. <laughs> now, is this, a, is this an Omega Pirate or just another Berserker Pirate? It's just a regular Elite Pirate. Okay. You'll know an Omega Pirate when you see one. God, why are they so buff? Like, does Phazon just make you ripped as F? Well, they added a little bit of Phazon, and all it did was give him cancer and kill him. They gave him a, <laughs> so they gave him a lot of phase on and well that <laughs> seemed to work. <laughs> but brought but, it back. But but the, the, it, it's kind of makes them angry and stupid. Oh. So then we added a lot lot more phase on than was necessary, and then well ah. it, it made him really big and buff and powerful, but also a lot more susceptible to doing what we tell them to. So in, in theory, win win maybe. Uh, <laughs> so it's a win win, right? Uh, well, sir, we good. I'm, I'm glad we're at an understanding, sir. I need to get out of here. <laughs> Piratejobs.com <laughs> Wait, why am I going to a website? I could just steal my next job. Uh, uh, Siri, take me to uh, piratejobs.com Taking you to piratejobs.com So, would you power like, bomb here. Would you like me to alert the boss? Uh, no. Put it on a private server. Perfect. Hey, the map room. It's the auto map. I haven't seen one of these in a hot minute. There's not very many uh, areas here, but here is most of the map to the Phazon mines. <laughs> and now we have the map beam. Wow. Oof. We pretty much cleaned it out. <laughs> There's still that. That's that's all level three down there. That red elevator is what takes us down there. We can't really go through there. We are going to take that yellow elevator and take us, at least a little bit, briefly, into sub-level 2. Okay. Did the map always light up with elevator colors? And where they connected? Uh, just, just the map tells Ow. you. Like, like the, uh, the green elevator takes you to sub-level 1. Mm -hmm. the, elevator, the yellow elevator is sub-level 2, and the red one is sub-level 3. Well, right now we're getting hurt in here. I there, think so I call this more power about bomb. It. Blow that open. And then... Yeah, no oh, here. Okay. Give that a scan and then we turn the fans on. Blow all that nasty poison shit out of here. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh wait. No, that's good. That's very good. It's very good. Another energy tank. Oh. Like, it couldn't get better. Except it will. I have a funny feeling it's gonna get better. 
Man, looking good. So good. But how do we get back up? Uh, IBJ. I like it, but let's try the half pipe instead. Psst, sick moves, dude. Might be fast. Sick moves. Thank you for showing me how you play X Games. So I, uh, I picked up uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. It was a free download on PlayStation Plus. Nice. I'm not, and, uh, you know, when it comes to skating games, my game of choice, my drug of choice, Jet Set Radio. Okay. So I tried playing Tony Hawk's uh, 1 and 2. I'm very bad at it. I am, I am horrendous. I am awful at it. I cannot control myself on this goddamn skateboard! Yeah, when I uh, started Tony Hawk back up again, after getting one and two, uh, yeah, it turns out I forgot everything. <laughs> it's also a different console. I played it on PlayStation, and uh, I was playing it on an Xbox. So I don't remember anything. Thanks, Tony Hawk. It's like I do a jump, I fall over. I try to do a flip, I fall over. I move forward, I fall over. Oh. <sighs> So, here's an example of how sheltered I was at it as a kid. When there was blood shown in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, I thought my parents were going to take the game away from me. <laughs> well, quit being shitty, scrub! <laughs> Smack on the back of the head. Well, that's how I got so good at it! It's so I could show them, look how cool these tricks are, and not getting hurt. God. And now I watch tasses of, of those games, and it's just amazing to watch. Infinite where, combos. Where they do everything all in one and yeah. actually quit the game early because they did it all. Ooh, that's a big cocoon. Do we want in there? Uh... Eventually? We, again, we need to get out of here. Omega Pirate? I mean, we, we, we got the power bomb. That's about all we need. Because that's how we can get through most of the area. We'll, we'll come back later when we get a special beam. Excuse me, computer. Do you know who you're talking to? I'm Samus Aaron, the owner of the power bomb right now. You don't have to even worry about a rock slide. So we gotta get our fourth beam before we can come back because a lot of sub-level two is blocked off by this special beam, and to even access sub-level three, is, we'll need it. Oh my so God. right now, again, we could go all the way back, mm -hmm. or we could open up a special area through here and take us back to Ooh. fucking Magmore. <laughs> Back to the highway, dude. Back to the Back highway. Back to the highway. Back to the highway. So what could even the last beam be? Because I've only ever seen wave beam, power bla- uh, I almost said power buster. But power beam and uh, the ice beam. I've said it like three times though, but- uh, Mur Murder beam? <laughs> Hyper beam? It's the cotton candy beam. Cotton Shoots candy Shoots out beam. cotton candy. Try eating it, kid. See what happens. Delicious. The only, the only hint I'll give you is that it's heat and it's red. The flamethrower. <laughs> that actually is an upgrade. What? Yep. What? The wave buster was uh, that, but and uh, the flamethrower is the upgrade for for that red beam. Dude. Yeah. Whoa. Dude, I love it. Yes, they do have troopers that have tried to reverse engineer this beam, so we'll see them later too. <laughs> how bad did they mess it up? On a scale of one to ten, how are we talking? You can probably stun lock them. <laughs> it got worse. It got worse. You fought you fired the beam and the, and every time you shoot them they go ow. You can just oh, oh boy yeah. Oh this got worse. Uh, hey, he, oh. Get out get out get out get out get out do not <laughs> touch the intergalactic ooze. Dirty burning ouchie okay we're good. Yay back to Magmore. Magmore Cavern <laughs> South. <laughs> Yes! We have to go through the entirety of the fucking system. Oh, yes! We are at the very ass bottom of Magmore. <laughs> and we gotta take ourselves to the very ass top of it. Yes! Don't you love it? Oh, you love to see it. Oh, wow, this actually does look different. Oh, what? yeah, lava and everything. Wow. However, though. Yeah. There is something we can get while we're here. Two things, actually. Lay it on me, dude. What are we picking up? So. Well, uh, oh, well, this is convenient. Oh, look. Oh. How, uh, again, how convenient. Was that they, they want you to do with it? There it you go! It all just lands wow. in Samus's lap. She's the luckiest woman in the galaxy. And yeah, she still can't find somebody to match her wits. Speaking of which, Samus is now on Match.com. <laughs> Please. Please join the website. Yeah, that she 
if he uh, meets somebody on Match.com and she brings her book of matches and then they try to get a date. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, look how hot she is. She's about a book of matches worth. <laughs> wow, wow. That's hot. That's hot. I just put my hand over it, just wave it over the match and it's like, mm, that barely hurt. See, maybe she is like on one of those dating sites. Just, you know, hey, you know, between missions. For fun. Be nice to have some, uh, some companionship. Yeah. Sure, why not? Shooting the breeze, talk about pirates. But the thing is, nobody has ever looked at her profile. Oh. Like, even when she put that picture of her, you know, showing a bit of the cleavage a bit more. <laughs> no, still, n nothing. <laughs> not anything. No DMs, no, like, likes. Nobody has interacted with her profile so, whatsoever. So perplexing. Wow. That is so weird. I wonder what it is. Huh. All right, I mean, let me go ahead and take a look here. Okay, name, Samus Aran. Uh, okay, gone, yeah. Age, age uh, 29. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, it's good. You know, Pretty good. Give or take, you know, it's yeah. not important. Yeah. Uh, birth, birthplace, uh, K2, uh, slash Zebes, all right. Uh, okay, hot. Um, your, your profile is private. Well, yeah, because I'm a private kind of person. <sighs> yeah, but, Sa Sam, Sam. Nobody's going to be, uh, you know what? It's probably for the best. Because you also have on here single mother, and I don't think you realize what that means. You gotta put your profile on public, so people can see. Well, I don't want people to see. <laughs> but, but then why did you... Because <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. You know what? Baby steps. Let's just... Let's... Uh, yeah, exactly. Baby steps. I did it so that Adam would shut up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck it. Uh, yeah, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Fuck it, it, fuck it, it fuck it's fine, it's fine. All right, we're cool. I'm glad every experience in Magmore Caverns is just the worst. <laughs> it's like uh, nothing changes here in Magmore Caverns. You expect the worst, you get the worst. Jesus, Ow. I don't care, let the fire take me. <laughs> <laughs> See, now we have an entire, like, case of matches now. That's a hot we're getting here. It's a library of matches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Whoa. A library of Alexandria of matches. Oh dear, that's a lot of fire. It, it, it's a library that burned down, famously. Uh, oh. That was a lot of fire. That was a lot of fire. A lot, a lot of books, a lot too, of fire. Man. No way. Way, man. Oh, callback. Hell yeah. There's something down here. Seriously? It's just here? It's just here. Wait, uh, 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 yeah, wake hello? up. Wait, yeah, right. wake up. All right. This is the beam? This is the- this isn't the beam. Oh. This is the super missile version for the, uh, ice- Ice, mi okay. ice beam. It's the ice, ice spreader. spreader! Ooh! Me likey. Ten missiles. Ten okay. missiles! That's, God! That's a lot. Jeesh. And we have, Come like, on. what, over 200 missiles? We got 54 right now. Oh, okay, that's- That's not the best, but- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Overshot! Yeah, no, shit, no, shit, no, overshot. shit, shit, oh no! Shit, shit. Been playing Doom Eternal too much. <laughs> Can't dash back. Oh god. <laughs> that's what Metroid Prime is missing—a dash move. We got the space jump. That's about as good as we can get it. But... Well, that's pretty. Good. Not gonna lie, that's pretty decent. Right, are you gonna try it? You gonna try it? This is a pretty important room here. Okay. That, well, it wasn't exactly the ice spreader, but that's okay. All right. So, uh, so ever since we've been to the phase on mine, something's been bothering me. What's that? The pirate data said that they already have some of the artifacts. Oh, yeah. And I expected that, but I just, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I really don't like that they have more artifacts than me. We only have the one, and that's the one that they had at the art at the fucking artifact temple. Okay. So we gotta find some. I'm down. We don't, we don't have to worry about them right now, but we can get some along the way here and there. Oh, uh, so starting here. Scavenger hunt? It's a, it's a bit of a scavenger hunt. You know, what? The the, uh, the temple, of course, gives you map. Mm -hmm. give, gives you a, a little bit of a hint system. Yeah, tells you kind of where to go. If you if you get more artifacts, it unlocks more hints. Uh, don't worry about scanning the chosen artifacts. If you get the artifact itself, then it is added to your logbook. Oh, neat. So a little booster here has that going. A little uh, a little platform here. So the artifacts are physical objects. They are indeed physical objects, yes. Okay, I just assumed they were logs. So this leads me to believe that we are going to steal the artifacts that were stolen from us. 
Well, the sun that they haven't and found either. that was the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> I think they just kind of kept this one here. But that is indeed the next Chosa artifact. Awesome. Give at, me. at least one that we can grab while we're here. I like it. See, the cleanup episodes are some of my favorites because I get to go back and see how it all fits together. So at least we're getting new stuff as we go along this uh, long-treaded highway. We got a lot of... Were those hints? Those are just the log entries. Oh, okay, okay. It's a logbook. And because we have that Chosa artifact, that is the artifact of strength, mind you. Hmm. But, uh, you know, not not quite done yet. Not quite done. Oh, I saw Bendesium. That means power bomb. Opens up a door. Brings us down here Whoa. into this little magma pit. What the hell's in here? Whoa. Ooh, Whoa. what's that? Whoa. What's that? What's that? That is a power, power bomb, bomb expansion. expansion! Yo! Gimme, gimme. It increases your power bomb capacity by only one, yes. Well, but I mean, it will help you more than you may think. I mean, when you're given ultimate power, you kind of have to, you know, check some balances and whatnot. Especially later on when you when you like want to move on. Yeah, but there's stuff in your way, and you say, you know what? I'm done. Mm -hmm. Will come in handy for the final boss, actually. Oh, neat. Very in handy. Much good in handy, yes. How much of everything that you're collecting actually helps with the final boss? Because sometimes, you know, you get a, a power-up or an item that's not exactly useful in the final fight. Do we use everything, do you think? Um... Well... Obviously, the more missiles and especially E-tanks you get, the better off you'll be. Right. Uh, power bombs will help for, like, one specific phase of, of the fight. Excellent. And, uh, really, the most important thing you'll need are the visors. Oh, okay. And right now we have... Really? Only three visors? Yeah. yeah. We just have the one. Huh. I could have sworn we had more. Okay, we, never mind. We start with the combat and the scan visor, and we just got the thermal visor. Oh, okay. We have one more visor to get. Oh, incoming scan data. What oh, we got? I wonder if it's a visor. Pirate transmissions intercepted. Ooh! Unique mining technology in upper part of sight. Oh, we gotta go back to the Phazon mines and go back over there. Oh! Uh, that's like way far away. We don't need to do that like, right away. I, ju I just got here, man. I, I think I need a couple more power bombs. What I do you mean, think? Yeah, that, that could be important to get. We could have gotten it, but, you know. Uh huh. We're, we're, we're moving on to a couple of more important things right now. Gotcha, okay. Getting a couple of extra missile expansions, getting right, a couple yeah. of uh, energy energy tanks. I mean, we already got a Kozo artifact, so that's good. Just a little bit of cleanup, just to make sure we're ready for the phase on mines, because I have a feeling, is that where the end of the game takes place? In the mines? Yeah. Oh. oh. You see, uh, they take you to subsection three of the mines, right? Uh-huh. And, uh, what well, you think that the, the source is right at sub-level 3? Oh, no. There's a place even deeper than that. Walmart. Not in, not in this game, no. Wretched hive of scum and villainy. No, that's in Metroid Prime Hunters. Oh, excuse me. You gotta me. go to Walmart. <laughs> For a free demo, wow! Bring your DS into Walmart today. Oh my god, we haven't seen those bats in, like, the hottest of minutes. They miss us so much! <laughs> Give me an explosive hug! Well, you're not gonna believe the route we're gonna go here. It's gonna be, gonna be wild here. I am all for the ride. So we're just gonna, basically, uh, we're, we're gonna wind up back at the Phazon Mines by the end of this. No way! No way. We're literally just taking a bit of a detour to get a couple extra expansions. All of that for the... Super missile equivalent for the ice beam, and we got a chose our artifact. Got an artifact. That's pretty good. It's another one that they, that we have that they don't. Pretty good super missile hull. Got another power bomb. That's pretty nice. We have, uh, yeah. Just gonna take a quick buzz through uh, Chozo ruins here. I love it. How many artifacts can we get at this point in the game? Uh, Without the last beam. I don't know. Oh, okay. Because I know several of the artifacts you need the last beam for. Okay. Uh, some of them are just kind of... Oh, did you know this was here? Ho, ho, ho! You guys don't even bother me anymore. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> God, episode 13, right? Yep. Feels so powerful. Like, remember when we were running away from bees? 
I remember when th these were actually a threat, now we're just- Wait, you're blowing up our homes! Wait, stop, no! This is payback! And she cocks her arm rifle. So super missile to blow that off. Oh. Then to blow that one off. Oh. These are actually scannable runes. What? And this room must be activated. Where you gotta find the four runes to open up that part of the of the magnetic rail. So there's two here on either side. Your third one is back upon here, right there. I would never have found that. And the fourth one is on the other side. Over there, I on mean. On the other other side. Right there. That is insane. And there you go. You got your way back up now, finally. Unlocking shortcuts is Metroid Prime. Oh, nope. well. This one's a pretty nasty place. At least it's not yeah. like, hey, if you miss it, you go back to Magmore Caverns or something like that. No, oh, but if they, you miss it, you go oh, down because they, they do go away. Shit. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, I didn't notice that until the last one. Fear. <laughs> Perish. That was a Kozo ghost I just saw. Well, it seems he's spooked of you. Hmm. Or is he? Or is he? I think that he's just too phase on mad to even know what to do with himself. Runs away gleefully. <laughs> <laughs> can't catch me, can't catch me. Ooh. Oh, there's three of them here. Uh... We have to fight these guys. They blocked out the way. Time to bust some ghosts. Yeah, bust some ghosts. He's got to keep moving and keep jumping around so I don't get hit by their attacks. God, what losers. They actually make themselves vulnerable. For a split second. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, here. Hi! What? I do like Samus's face showing up in the visor. Yeah! Every, every time a shot is fired at her or she shoots the shot. It's in the darkness, too. Oh, that's great. Samus, take the shot. It's a ghost, yeah, but yeah. take the shot. What? I hate, I hate dealing with these things. Go away, leave me alone, I'm on your side! Incoming transmission from the Federation. Take the shot. Fuck you, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> and she throws away her helmet. Oops. Go. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll just because there's plants doesn't mean that there's oxygen. I'll just ignore his, his calls. It's a lot easier than taking off my helmet. Samus Aran, young lady, you will not ghost me today. Yeah, that's really funny, Dad! Thumbs down to that train of thought. Damn it, get the These are like mini-bosses, dude. Yeah, they're tough. They're hard. Ah! Ah! You see, the, the pirates have been dealing with these guys, and they think, oh, maybe the phase on stage? Nah, it's fine. Keep going! So these guys were trying to stop the phase on, allegedly, right? These are the Chozo ghosts. These are the ones that have gone mad, and they're attacking basically anything that disturbs their slumber, disturbs their ruins. They're protecting the the artifact temple. They're they're basically uh, one of the myriad of things going wrong with this space pirate operation. Hmm. Who the fuck is he? Why am I oh. being so conservative with these missiles? I don't know, man, because you love seeing the number go up. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Good job. It's because I don't want to waste them, I suppose. <gasps> oh. Oh, well, that's uh, that's pretty easy. Well, yeah, that's convenient. Not only do we have to kill Flagra, we had to come back and kill his three ghosts. So the one that we got back in Magmore was strength. This is called wild. Uh, <laughs> we are a strong wild woman now. It's the fourth of twelve, but our third. Interesting. So they know a fourth one, or own a fourth one. Like I think there's a specific order. Like uh, the one we got there in Magmore, that was that was the okay. second one. The one we got at the at the temple, that was the first one. 
This, this one is the fourth one. Th this this uh, last artifact at the very last part of the game where you need the very last suit and the very last beam and everything. That's 12 of 12. Okay. So I think there is a set order, but there's no, like, strict order. Makes sense. Just kind of getting them when we can get them, when we think about getting them, when the getting them's good. And the getting them, getting them are... Did we run into more ghosts? Yeah, but we don't have to fight these ones. Okay, cool. Many of these ghosts we can just, you know, not even bother with unless they're really in our way. I do like that they become normal enemies after a certain point. It really kind of adds to the threat level. Then that you, you are a trespasser! Well, it's an escalation. We see them for the first time and it's like, oh, I hope I never have to fight those again. <laughs> what? That's nuts! How many times do we have to come back here? I was about to say, I know exactly where we're going. <sighs> the exact same... Wait, it's the last place, last time we have to come back here to get the gravity suit to come back here to get this Ooh. missile expansion. Da -da! Did not expect that. I thought we were going on the half pipe, doing some sick flips and tricks, but nope, in the water. I'm glad you showed me that one because I never would have found that. I forget if there's a way to highlight where the missile collectibles are. I thought there was a way. And I don't know if it if it's possible in here or if it's in the trilogy version. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm t for, for these. I'm only playing the the oldest version that there is. Now I can't remember. Is it because you wanted the legitimate challenge of the first iteration of the game? Then they're the ones that I have. Oh, that too. So you have a first edition copy, right? That's what this is. Version 1.0. Excellent. Same with Metroid Prime 2. Ooh. With with the unkillable boost guardian. <laughs> I can't wait for that. I'll be fine. I know nothing about Metroid Prime 2, and I know even less about Metroid Prime 3, even though it's the one I watched you do, like, one boss fight in back in 2007. When it first came out. Oh, God. I've been there since the beginning. Oh, God. I've been excited to do this, to actually play through these and beat them and win and shit. It's, it's great. <laughs> I do goo in video game. <laughs> I do goo. I do goo. Dot do good. <laughs> Playing video games is fun. <laughs> it's hard work. I tell you what. <laughs> oh, I missed. Oh, well, it's it's fine. It's fine. The, he, he was he wasn't he wasn't solid yet, but he's not solid. He's a ghost. Tell that to ghost type Pokemon. They're not solid, and yet you can right. still hit them. All right, uh, there's a ghost type Pokemon up here. Uh, do uh, Mimikyu. If uh, you, uh, can, uh, you, Mimikyu, hey, you need to be solid. There, I think he got the message. I hope he's not crying. Oh well, okay. You made Mimikyu cry. Well, Shush. the world is tough. He's going to have to learn that. Maybe now he'll get an evolution because he's growing up. Oh, that'd be cute. He turns into Mimic Us. To Mimi you. <laughs> he just turns into Ditto. Whoa! That opens up a, a sick half pipe, bruh! Excuse me? Yeah! How do you even know to do that? I used it. Yeah, besides notes, yeah. You could use another power bomb to take care of these things, but uh, eh. you don't need to worry about it. Eh. it it's, it's fine. Oh. This is what the game loves to do now, morph ball puzzles. Especially really, really... Yep. Scary ones. Yep. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Be careful. Okay, okay good. Oh, what is this garbage? Oh, that actually wasn't that bad. Magnet ball is pretty forgiving, though, but... Eh, you gotta be forgivable first. I gotta get the timing right. Now. Over. Boom. Yeah, I got enough. Alright, it's right there. It's right there. Yeah. Careful. Roll over. Like a gymnast. Jump. There you go. All yes. Right. And got it! All for a missile expansion! Yay? Very yay. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, well, of course it's yay. It's part of 100%. I can't wait for the episode where you throw me a curveball and say, Yep, that's all the missiles. What? Whoa. It'll come when you least expect it. I know. 
waiting patiently, kinda. Cause I just really enjoy doing Metroid games with you. I think that was, uh, 31, so... Now we're getting close. We have like 16 left or something? Damn! Oh, do we have to kill these guys? It'll make things easier, they're kind of in my way, and they'll keep hurting, and I, d I don't want to be hurt. Do they go away forever? No? Oh, okay. But, they, but there is a way that you that you can deal with them better when you get a special visor. Because you can actually see them. The ghost visor. The x-ray visor. The, oh. But close! You can see ghosts with it. Who, who, who knew? They're just batting you around. It's like... <laughs> every single side. He clipped into the wall. He's, uh, he's so ghosty. Yeah, and he died from it. Nerd. You know, I just realized you're about to do another type, like the... Have we already done the ice version of this? Not yet, no. Okay, cool. Feels good. Man, One this in 3D would be kind of awesome. Get some 3DS in here. Yeah, they had a chance to make a Metroid Prime game on the 3DS set. Look what happened! Probably canceled, right? Or became Federation Force. It was Federation Force because they d they don't understand what to do with Metroid. I don't know how they can though. Are they that out of touch that they Why don't did... check feedback or anything? I I think that was just them like around that that phase in the 3DS's life cycle. It's close to the end. They were they were obsessed with this three player co op type deal. Triforce Heroes. Triforce Heroes and Federation Force come to mind especially, but I think there were other games that, that tried to push multiplayer when... No one's gonna do that! No one does multiplayer on the 3DS! We could have done New Super Mario Bros. 2 co-op, but we didn't because nobody does it co-op! Yeah. But no! When we get to Federation Force, we're doing a co-op! We're fucking doing a co-op! Does it work like that? It will! <laughs> I'll fucking make it work! Uh, hopefully you don't have to get your own copy. Because wouldn't that be a kick in the face? Niskel, I'm gonna call it a business expense. <laughs> Put it on your taxes. Put it on my taxes as a business <laughs> expense. The IRS calls you and says, Are you okay? Did somebody make you buy this? Well, at least you didn't buy other M for your... Sir? Sir? Why are you sobbing? Sir? Sir, no. Don't tell me. So what's the ice beam do? Opens uh, up a different track, and then here watch comes this the wind-up, and the pitch! Oh, down! <gasps> Hello, beautiful! E-Tank! That's number eight. Eight of fourteen, I may add. Holy crap! How do we fit that many more in there? We have to have more than eight. Uh, All right, that red one's the last one. Sweet. All right, uh, where to next? Well, we gotta head back to Talon Overworld now. Yay. Yay. Yes, yay. Yay. There's a special little grove in Talon Overworld that uh, ah. is quite nice. First, we gotta go through here. Do some sick tricks. It's that room in the back up there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Okay! I don't think that was supposed to work like that, but, well, it you know, whatever. Did, well, it, it, did, it, did, it worked, whatever. I think. Whatever we did, it, we did it. Maybe that was the frog that really liked Kirby games. Learned how to big suck. Oh, come on. Haven't figured out the, half pipe. Haven't figured out the half pattern pipe. yet. Half pipe! Half pipe! Half pipe! Half pipe! Half pipe. Uh. Like Wait. half pint. Come on, man. As in, I drunk half a half pi ah! pint of lager before I attempted this shit, and it's really showing half in my subpar half gaming pipe. abilities. Half pipe. Half pipe. Just get up there. Why can't half we just make some stairs? Half pipe. Scan something and have half a little pipe. elevator go up. Ah! Come on, there. Perfect. Perfect. All right. And now to unwind. <sighs> So next time, Talon Overworld, and then back into the mines? Yep, next time, Talon Overworld, and back into the mines.
Excellent. Oh yes, very excellent. I, I can't wait. Can you wait? Well, I just can't wait to have actual clearance. Well, we see we again. We have to, we have to find our own clearance. We could we become more of a big deal. We get better security clearance. Oh, so let's okay. see how far we get next time on Metroid Prime. <laughs> <laughs>